Hi everyone, I'm Michael with Film Compass, and today we're checking out some of the coolest parks you can see in San Francisco. Today we'll overlook all of San Francisco, enjoy a day out in the city's largest park, and discover a few iconic places you really shouldn't miss out on. First on my list is the Maritime Historical Park, because it's so close to many fun things to do. This place seemingly has everything for a family to enjoy. When you arrive, you'll immediately notice the giant ship known as Balclutha and the inviting waters of the park that many people even take a dip in. Further down the sidewalk, you have the Aquatic Park Pier that stretches into the ocean for a great view of the bay and the city skyline behind you. This pier makes for a nice stroll to take in all the scenery around the park. One of my favorite things about this park is that it has its very own beach. The beach here is home to calm waters and is perfect for kids as the waves are quite small. The beach stretches from end to end, so you're almost guaranteed a good spot to relax. Another one of the reasons I like Maritime Historical Park is because it's so close to Ghirardelli Square. This square is home to delicious restaurants, fountains, beautiful views, and the famous Ghirardelli chocolate. It's so close to the park, it's hard to pass up. Next up, we have Twin Peaks, a 64-acre park with panoramic views of the entire city. Twin Peaks sits high above the city and is home to one of the best scenic overlooks in all of San Francisco. Sitting at about 925 feet up, you'll be able to spot the Golden Gate Bridge in the distance and even downtown Oakland across the bay. Another reason I love coming here is that I love photography and if you got a good camera, you can get some great photos. In addition to spectacular views of the city, you'll sometimes find avid cyclists frequenting Twin Peaks. Moreover, the park is covered with trails and is a great place to spend an early afternoon before the fog rolls in. Golden Gate Park is San Francisco's largest park and is packed with fun things to do. The first place you'll want to check out here is Steinhardt Aquarium and its massive collection of fish and sea creatures. Next up, head over to the Japanese Tea Garden for a relaxing afternoon with koi fish, small waterfalls, and foreign architecture. Feast on delectable dishes as you sit and overlook the many ponds that encompass this garden. At the other end of Golden Gate Park, you'll find incredible windmills that tower above the trees and Ocean Beach a sprawling long beach with massive waves. There's few places out there like the Presidio of San Francisco. This 1,500-acre national park was once a military post for the American military, but now it's a major recreational hub. The Presidio is covered with forests that will make you feel like you aren't even in the city. Beaches with views of the Golden Gate Bridge and green fields like Christie Field that were once used as runways for military aircraft. A person could stay up at the Presidio and explore its many parks until the sun went down and not get bored. Its latest park, known as Tunnel Top, is a great place to take the family and enjoy the sun. Last on the list is Alamo Square and the charming houses known as the Painted Ladies. Grassy knolls and picnics are frequently found at Alamo Square. Of course, the most iconic thing to see here are the Painted Ladies, but the park has much to offer, such as a playground area, tennis courts, and a dog play area. Don't pass up this place if you're in the neighborhood. That's everything. I hope you'll come see these parks someday and enjoy them as much as I have. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.